So, what is fire? Well, fire is a three-way chemical reaction that involves fuel, oxygen, and heat. Now, oxygen is usually present in the atmosphere around us, so that's not a problem. So it's usually the combination of the other two. The first class of fire is class A. These fires are because of ordinary combustibles, such as trash, wood, and paper. The next class of fire is class B. These fires are because of flammable liquids and gases, such as gasoline and propane. The third class of fire is class C. These fires involve live electrical equipment, like cameras. The next class of fire is class D. These fires involve burning metals, such as magnesium and power. The next class of fire is class K. These are kitchen fires, which are, of course, in the kitchen. These are usually found in restaurant kitchens because they use newer appliances and better oils like canola oil or olive oil. The most basic extinguishing agent available is water. Only use it on class A ordinary combustibles. It could be very dangerous to use it on class B and C type fires. The next extinguishing agent available is foam, suitable for class A and B fires. Do not use foam on class C fires as you may get an electric shock. A clean extinguishing agent is CO2. It is most effective on class B and C fires. It can be used to some extent on class A fires. The next type of agent is powder. It is available in either ABC powder or BC powder. The only extinguishing agent available to put out class D fires is dry compound. An extinguishing agent for kitchens is wet chemical. It can put out class A fires as well as class K. The method to operate a portable fire extinguisher is PASS. It stands for pull, aim, squeeze, and sweep. So you should pull out the pin, aim at the base of the fire, make sure it's the base, not just the flames, squeeze the handle, and sweep side to side. I'm gonna show you the effectiveness of the PASS method. So again, we're going to Pull out the pin, aim at the base of the fire, squeeze the handle, squeeze it side to side, and sure enough, the fire is out. And keep going until the fire is definitely extinguished, which is basically just keep discharging the whole entire extinguisher until the fire is out. And then the fire is out. So uh, you can shut your nozzle off. And that's how you use a fire extinguisher. Thanks for watching.